Morning guys, um, sitting in the car over here, and we've got a pretty good view. Does that look familiar? Yep. It's 9.56, I'm picking up Kenan in a few minutes, he's on his way downstairs, and we're going to the Cleveland Auto Show with my grandfather. I don't expect it to be like Detroit, but we'll film it and we'll see what we see. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Check that out. I hope it fits in the garage. We'll see. <laughs> the front wheels on that cracked me up. Okay, I guess it fits. That is a really dated building. Okay, so this this is a, a an okay attempt from the from the Americans. Too bad it's it's all plastic. Four hundred and twenty horsepower. That's crank though. Mine's wheel. I got more. <laughs> I'll always find a way. It, it looks better than they did a little bit ago, but it's still just a cheap car. Pretty sure this is factory here. It is blue, blue, blue. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of wasted space in there. It's a little blue. Um, yeah, I like their previous Laguna Seca blue. It had a little bit more turquoise in it. I'm going to point this out. What irritates me is this, this car is 13 years newer than mine. Yeah. It's using a hood prop. I guess they couldn't afford some hydraulic struts. What the hell? Alright guys, uh, more problems with the new Mustang here. Um, it has that. And these tires are 215s. 215s. What are yours, Gannon? 235s. And a 12 year old base model 5 series. And these are 215. They should be embarrassed. I certainly would be. Not only did they choose a bang up color, look at the lack of integration in the parking sensors. I'm sorry, I'm pulling, totally pulling forward apart here on this new Mustang, but for freak's sake. Are those? Oh, okay. They did get some struts over here. That's commendable. They've got this so you can't close it. Yep. That's factory option there with the tape. Uh huh. That could be the same one that was in uh, Detroit. That's a Jag something. And a Range Rover. And a Ferris wheel inside. Yeah. Not a fan of the color of that thing. What do you think? The wheels. They could have what? Oh. Clean up the yeah, it's dirty. I guess they drove it here from Detroit. <laughs> They redid this whole system, they did well. They don't really know how it works yet. <laughs> you like that music? I like it. M Benz. The SL was nice actually. What do you think of this one? You like it? Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice car. Yeah, a little small. This is interesting. Style coupe. Just, uh, you're fine. The wheels stick out quite a bit on the side of the car. Let's see if we can get a profile shot here. I don't know that I, whether I like that or not, but I think it goes with the car. S7, poorly integrated display, but the carbon fiber is really nice, and the leather is beautiful, except these are manual, I don't know why those are manual. It's white, of course, frameless doors, beautiful seats, love the frameless door concept. A bigger Volkswagen. Well, financially. They come off the same line. No, they don't. Uh, XTS and the ATS is over there. The night car. Oh, they got a Karma. I've seen them closer up in San Diego, but that's a great car. And a couple Maseratis, Quattroport, and a uh, GT. He's found what he wants in the smart car. That's a, yeah, that's a smart car. That's a Saturn, uh, Saturn IQ over there. And the Lotus. 
Lease? Revora? I don't know. It's all the same. Take a look. It could be a Navora. Navora IPS 2 plus 2. Cool. Rentec S class. Yuck. That's a beautiful color. I'll give them that. Favorite car here? It's, it's grotesque. <laughs> there we go with our 70s music. I don't even know what this is. Is it a 550 or 535? I don't know. It has the stem door cells and the thigh extensions from the seats. Best seats we've been in all day. Very, very nice. 70,000? Must be a 550. Right? Yeah. Would that be a I don't know. Yeah, I, I like what I see. I don't, wouldn't buy this wood trim. Yeah. But the leather's very nice and everything. 650 Grand Coupe. Weird looking lights. Not bad. Beautiful. Dad, the back of an X6. Remember this in your X5. Huge strut. Ford doesn't put one on their engine. Hood. And BMW does in the trunk. Beautiful. And it's even smart enough to put itself down. Friggin' right. It's a gray Ferrari. A gray Ferrari. I won't touch it because I think it's a disgrace to the automotive industry, but I'll film him touching it. Was a little low. See how bad the clutch is compared to the 525. Yeah, it's manually adjusted. adjusted steering wheel on a sports model. Yep. It's lighter than the 525. <laughs> well, our cars can't do that. Not at all, they have enough trouble if the roads are wet. Pretty impressive. Well, boys, the light still works. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, we just watched House of Wax. I think let's close the garage. Should we? That's a brilliant idea. House of Wax, right? Yeah. That was an interesting one from 06, I think. Uh, so we're going to head over to Giant Eagle now and, and get some, uh, some refreshments for tonight and go from there.